if you're looking for a new MMO to play and quite frankly you're sick of all the rubbish that's been thrown at us for the last few years then I can assure you this video is for you. Lord of the Rings Online has become nothing short of an obsession for me over the last few months now and I'm really really kicking myself that I didn't discover it sooner. Before I ever set foot into Lotro my main MMO has always been Final Fantasy XIV. It was familiar, it was comfortable, I kind of knew where I stood within the community except something was always missing for me. Something that I just couldn't quite put my finger on. In fact, it wasn't until experiencing Lotro for the first time that I had a sudden realization of what I was missing. I was missing that traditional old school MMO feeling. The feeling of getting lost in an immersive, expansive world. Final Fantasy in many ways does have this, but even though both games are high fantasy, Lord of the Rings Online just has a way of feeling way more relatable and grounded. This in turn allows you to expand your mind into truly experiencing your surroundings through the eyes of your character. It's not news that Lord of the Rings Online looks more visually dated to its competition. And the combat, yes, face value may seem clunkier, but to me, this all adds to the charm of the experience. In combat, the clunkiness actually aids in the movement seeming like they have weight to them. With each sword that gets swung, there is an audible clanging, and you actually can hear upon impact some of the exhalation of air as you bellow blows into each other, and the air leaves yours or your opponent's lungs. It's just phenomenal. The graphics, although dated, are by no means bad. In fact, there are some areas which look downright gorgeous, and they really do help to portray the vision that the developers are really trying to get across. In hindsight, as someone who has played modern-day AAA games with gorgeous graphics and the likes of old-school RuneScape, I can tell you firsthand which one I had a better time in. This is because graphical integrity and fidelity does not always make for a more fulfilling experience. I would actually go as far as to say that on the basis that this game is mainly appealing to people in their mid-twenties and above, that this graphical style is pretty much what we grew up admiring and playing. In fact, some of our fondest memories and best time spent were staring at this exact polygon count and graphical layout. It would almost seem like the game would kind of feel odd if it didn't look this way. Lotro at first glance is a much slower paced MMO. There aren't a lot of bright, flashy animations or explosions, and at least at the early game, there are no glowing high fantasy armor sets or crazy, mystical, mythical high-speed mounts. The game just does a very good job of making you seem like an everyday adventurer set out into the world to make sense of it all, and I genuinely really absolutely love that. I've never been a fan of a game praising you for being the savior of the world or the repeller of doom, when you've quite literally just arrived and you have no idea who you are and what you're supposed to be. In fact, when you're running past multiple hundreds, thousands of people, all with the same accolades in the game, it just loses its credibility and seems very, very washed out. With Lotro, that's just not the case at all. Everyone you pass is a merry adventurer on their way to another exciting journey. When you first set off onto your first few quests and you're out on foot, typically this would be a chore, there's no mounts, it's a lot more slower paced, but in Lotro, you just, you don't mind. The game has such a great way of attracting you visually that the time just flies and before you know it, you don't even realize how long you've been playing. In the small amount of time that I've spent in Lord of the Rings Online, there is one clear thing that sticks out to me and that the fact of the matter is this game is much more about the journey than the ending. Couple this journey with some of the best background music I have ever heard and you will genuinely lose yourself for hours. As far as most typical MMOs go, apart from Final Fantasy XIV as that was a little bit different, I often find myself skipping the text, running as fast as I can to the next stop, the next NPC, the next quest, just to progress as fast as I can, but in Lotro it really doesn't seem like that at all. In fact, I actually take time out to seek out certain points of interest or really cool backdrops just to get that visual reward that you just don't get in other games. 
this game really does reward you for exploring. It might not be a monetary reward, but it does reward you in the sense of achievement and visually that you get to see something so cool. It has to be said that the, one of the first things that struck me about this game is that the storytelling is absolutely incredible if you give it chance and the voice acting and the cutscenes are second to none. On top of this, it's actually set in Tolkien's Middle Earth, which takes place during the same time period as the Lord of the Rings. I am currently still at the point of making this video very early on in the game, but from what I can see so far, even from a free to play point of view, that is that this game has so much promise and I can't wait till unravel it. I don't deny at all there is going to be forms of monetization, such as in the form of the Lotro store, but even that from the get go, you start to get drip fed some of that currency through doing deeds, which is the in game achievement and uh, tasks that you get. This currency you can then put towards a number of, of rewards uh, from increased mount speed, travel tokens, classes, and much more. Looking into the later game much further ahead, it stands currently that you can run your free to play account up to level 140 which will keep anyone busy for a long period of time. And there is a wealth of quests that you can do, I think capped up to about level 95, that you can also tackle too. Truthfully, if you've got that far, you will no doubt hit some sort of progression wall. But if you're that invested in the game, then nine great British pounds as it is over here to invest in a VIP membership to unlock more content really isn't a bad investment at all. This video, of course, is just my two cents. And it's ultimately coming from someone who's struggled to find a home in the MMO community. Um, and I'm genuinely pleased to say that I feel like I've found that in Lotro. So my message to you guys would be that if you are really sick of the current state of MMOs, which ultimately there is a severe lack of decent MMOs out there, give Lord of the Rings Online a try. You can try it and, and it really might not be for you. But if you can really sort of sit down, take it in at a slower pace and just be stressed and just enjoy your time in the world, it is phenomenal. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been an absolute pleasure to see you guys here. If you did enjoy this sort of video, please do leave a like. Um, subscribe if you are new here. That's always cool to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one.